everyone and welcome. My name is Noelle and in this short video I'll be sharing my process for this mountaintops painting. This is a part of a series of three paintings where I painted three landscapes with a similar color scheme. I began this painting by taping down the edges with pro artist tape and mixing colors for the first wash. My goal for the sky was to have muted sunset colors, so I wasn't afraid to mix them too much on the paper so they flowed nicely. The colors I used for this painting were Indian yellow, quinacridone gold, orange, permanent red, permanent rose, and ultramarine blue. I used a variety of different brands and those specifics can be found in the description. Once I was finished with this layer, I painted a light yellow wash of color onto the mountain. Next, I added a second wash for the sky because I wanted it to turn out a little darker in value with darker purples, pinks, and oranges. It helps to use transparent single pigment tubes of paint so the colors don't get too muddy even if I'm going for duller colors. For the shadow on the mountain, I mixed ultramarine blue and permanent red to get a dark purple. This part of the mountain is purple because the white of the snow reflects the light from the sky, which is in this case, purpley clouds. Once this layer was completely dry, I painted the second layer with a slightly bluer paint mixture to make the mountain have a smooth look in some areas. Finally, for the third layer, I do the opposite of smoothing by painting dark rocks for more texture. Mountains aren't all perfectly snow-capped, and I often find that adding small details can make a painting look less flat and distinguish one area from another. For example, I think the extra details really allow the mountain to stand out separately from the wispy sky behind it. The side of the mountain that the sun is shining on will look warmer from the sun and from some of the colors in the sky. For this section, I used a mix of mostly permanent red and a little bit of ultramarine blue. I like to use the dry brushing technique to get some texture as well. I'm currently running a giveaway for each of the three paintings on my Instagram until January 22nd, 2020. So if you are interested in entering that giveaway, Click the link to my Instagram post in the description and follow the instructions. I hope you enjoyed watching this process. Keep an eye out for the next two painting videos in this series. For art supplies I use and recommend, you can visit my Amazon storefront link below where I'll receive a commission from items purchased following the link. You can find me on my social media, I am the most active on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.